We haven't taken the push classes. What was it called? Lucy? Lars? Uh, Lermansi. Lamaz. Lamaz. We didn't take them. Um, no. What happened to that? Why don't we just go on YouTube? And just look up And look bunch. up Lamaz class, and I'm sure there's a class on YouTube. This looks like a gimmick. I'm pretty sure my mom didn't have Lamaz classes in yeah, the area. Like, yeah, exactly, and you came out just fine. <laughs> So did your brother. Sex during pregnancy. We don't need that. <laughs> There's a glass for sex during pregnancy. We're, we're Who goes need, and takes that? We didn't need the class. <laughs> Maybe it just tells you to penetrate only like six inches instead of eight. I mean, you're, you got that covered. <laughs> Honestly, the only thing keeping me going is these morning workouts. So I've continued doing them. I had a few days off and honestly, I felt the difference. I just felt unmotivated. I had a breakdown yesterday with Matt. So I thought today I'd wake up Sunday. We woke up at seven and the whole family's outside doing a workout. I'm gonna do a workout with my mom. We have fans on. Matt is just... Awesome, he set up a whole station. Everyone's got their workout in. Where are you going, baby mama? To the doctor's office. Okay. You want an apple instead? By myself, Matt can't come in So today is her due date, and her uh, cervix isn't softening. <laughs> so. And it's supposed to be like a marshmallow. Yeah, our feet's good. She said there's enough fluid and stuff, so everything's fine. I'm just really cozy in mommy's belly. I don't want to come out. 2020 is terrible. I'm officially four days af post. <laughs> Today is August 30th, and I'm officially four days past my due date. I have another doctor's appointment on Tuesday, so we'll see if I don't deliver in the next two days. I'm just kind of freaked out because I really don't want him to induce labor and like have to be in the hospital for a few hours because that's basically what he said. So um, hopefully that doesn't happen. I'm tired, you're walking too fast for me. Let's do it right here, no? Yeah. Okay. Mommy, daddy time. Ready? Before the baby comes. Shake it up, 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 shake it up. <laughs> Come on, big mama. You're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm I'm not as light as I used to be. We are at hopefully my last doctor visit. I'm a week late, so we're gonna find out what the next step is and um, what I should do to keep inducing labor, right? No, you don't have to. She's not ready. Alright. See you on the other side. I'm getting checked to see if I'm dilated yet. I don't know if you feel if you're dilated. I don't know how it works, but I've been feeling cramps. I don't know. I feel like I don't feel anything, so I just never know. But let's hope I'm somewhat dilated because I just want this baby to come out. So, um, we figured out that they may have got the conception day wrong, which me and Matt were saying the whole time, because if <laughs> I was conceived in November, I would have done it by myself because I was in Winnipeg. They got the dates wrong, they said. So today was technically supposed today. to be the day. There's two days, but. So I think it's gonna happen in the you next couple what? days. So basically worry. she's not overdue. Today <laughs> she finished 40 oh, weeks. Oh, so okay. Guys, I wish I had this hard work and dedication. She's doing a self tape, a leg workout, and a bit of lounging. <laughs> Unbelievable. You yeah, truly yeah. are an incredible woman. She is 42 weeks pregnant and shooting a self tape. Put my eyelashes on and everything. What day is it today? You look beautiful, at least. Yes. Let's just hope that we finish it. Before I deliver. <laughs> Did my belly drop? I hope so. We're about to go get some salad now. And maybe pizza. Not just any salad. 
Labor inducing salad. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. Oh. She can't get the salad fast enough. Uh. Do your salad dance. Do your salad dance. Do your salad dance. Do your salad dance. <laughs> salad babies. No way. Oh man, they have a wall of salad babies. Okay. She's eating it. She's eating it. Pregnant woman is eating it. Nice. I like your style. Mm hmm What day is it? I don't even know the day anymore. It's September 10th. My feet are so swollen. So today I was supposed to get induced, but the doctor like told me not to get induced because my cervix was just not soft enough. So now, tomorrow is my doctor's appointment. Dad's coming out of the shower. Dad, I want him to hear me say this. If he hears me say that I'm nervous, he gets upset. The bed is moving so much. Finally caught her on camera. So guys, today is September 11th. Moving so much. I'm connected to this machine that checks for um, her heart rate and stress levels and stuff since I still haven't delivered. And um, it just told me that the heart is up here that's measuring her heart rate. And if I have, if I dropped, it would be down here. So that means she still hasn't dropped or activated. in the morning and the Nana I believe is going into labor or is in labor. I really know how it works. It's early. This is what we're working with. There she is. Oh Jabez. How long have you been at this for? So at about two in the morning, I started getting contractions. I mean, at first I didn't know what it was. Um, I hadn't felt them before, so I was like, is this what it's supposed to feel like? Thankfully my mom was there, Matt's mom was there, and I downloaded a contractions app and we started timing them. And they obviously got worse and it just wasn't going away. Ow, 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 ow. No, it's a button. Matt was trying to do everything possible to just like comfort me and be there and be like the perfect, <laughs> the perfect companion. But I honestly, once the contractions were like painful, I didn't even want to see or feel him near me. Like I didn't want him to touch my belly. I didn't want him to graze my cheek. I just wanted to be by myself. The hell of a time, Nova. Babies don't come in the five Is it time? Yeah. All right, here we go. I just threw up. You threw up? While you were sleeping. Why did you throw up? Nicely passed out in the snooze. Why did you throw up? Why does it hurt its feet? It was about five or six in the morning and my contractions weren't getting any better and I was getting nervous because the hospital was like 20 miles away from the house. The last thing I wanted to do was have a baby in the car. So it was about time to head to the hospital. Big Mike, today might be the day, buddy. After you. Bye. Okay, you ready? Come on. I was just super nervous. I remember like having one thing in mind was getting to the hospital. Up you go. Oh, there we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay. Let's go time. Now that we're here, yeah, I to get <laughs> the physicality of getting there. I tried to wait as long as I can. I waited three hours. This isn't the room she's gonna deliver in, right? Correct. This is just tree, not true. Gotcha. Once I got into the hospital bed, I felt safe, number one, because I knew that now if the baby were to come out or whatever were to happen, I have a bunch of professionals around me. I have my mom and Matt, so I just I felt secure, safe, and relieved. We are in Cedar Sinai. 
And my bubba's having a baby. She's one centimeter dilated, and her cervix has softened by 50%. Let me look at you, baby. No. My, is that your breast? Probably. Oh my god. It smells <laughs> like poop. And when they told me I was only a centimeter dilated, I was just like, okay, so this is just the beginning. And it definitely was just the beginning. All right. <laughs> You're gonna throw up? Uh oh. The pain just skyrocketed. It wasn't gonna go away. I knew this feeling of pain and nausea and stuff was only gonna get worse. And um, yeah, I had to figure out how to deal with it. Oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Babe, babe, turn around. There's a garbage can. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel nauseous watching this. She's throwing up, it looks it's like just, normal. just mucus. It's just normal. <laughs> normal. It doesn't even make any sense. I don't understand why I was throwing up in a garbage can and walking around while I was in labor. So just we'll minimize clear liquids, okay? Okay. Because a lot of times once your body starts going into labor, you just hear doesn't it. doesn't want anything really, in yeah. there. When I got to the hospital, I had a wheelchair, but then when I was going from the triage room to the labor room for some reason, it was a walking thing. Um, I think because it was close. I don't know why I was walking and they didn't bring me a wheelchair. Yeah. What the f How are you feeling? Mm. Mm. Sleepy? Mm. Sleepy girl? Okay. And pain is better? She's a lot better with pain. They gave her some medicine because she was throwing up a bunch. This is her fluids before the epidural, and this is Pitocin to induce labor. I was definitely a little fearful of what pain was to come because I had no idea what to expect. I kept ha doing this like mind over matter thing where I would talk to myself and just be like, okay, it's only, it's only a few hours. It's only gonna be one day, and then there's gonna be a great miracle that comes at the end of all this pain so just keeping that in mind i think really helped me relieve it but at the same time i was in excruciating pain uh, oh man this is when it got really bad in your nose out your mouth at this point it's been over 12 hours since i started my contractions and the pain was not getting any better so I decided to not be stubborn anymore. I got that epidural and man, my mood changed. Oh, hey guys, I'm all happy again. You know why? Because I took an epidural. Highly recommend it. How your grandma had nine kids without the epidural? I have no idea. Oh my God, like what did people do with No clue, epidural? I'm good on the kids for at least five years. Inanna. Like, Machu's mom told me the psychic told her that next one will be very soon and will be boy. What? <laughs> Who said this? I'm putting a ring inside, so it's not gonna be me. That's for sure. <laughs> Not a lot had changed in the next few hours. I was still dilated the same amount. She hadn't moved positions. I mean, she was just being stubborn. The baby's facing up and not down. And for a safe delivery, she has to be facing down. So she's on all fours. And she's trying to get her to turn over. So when the doctor started telling me that they were worried about her position and it having an effect on having a safe delivery, that's when we started to really worry. That's the baby's heart rate. And I believe this is when the contract, oh, yep, that's it. See how it's going up? That means she's having a contraction. Nova, your mom went Coming through out. hell and back. She's been up since two in the morning and it is now 7.34 in the evening, and you're still not complying. You're a tough one. It's about eight o'clock at night, and the doctor had told me that I was supposed to deliver at six, and I was still dilated the exact same amount. Little Nova still hadn't moved at all, so um, I decided to try my own little method. Put on some hip hop music. Is this a new music video? Your heart rate's up. You're doing great, babe. We're an hour out from an either C section or getting this bad boy out. We're trying anything. I don't think he's a dead person. 
Yeah, <laughs> she's a wild cat, like your mom. Alrighty, so this consent form just says that you're having a primary cesarean section with obstetrical care. This is probably on this sign right here. When they told me I had to do a C-section, I was so scared. I mean, I was terrified. That was not something I wanted to do, but anytime they would induce me, her heart rate would drop. So at this point, I was signing off to whatever they thought was best because I wanted her to be here safely. All right, you're gonna hang out right there. Have okay. a seat, and then we'll come and get you. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna no, no, he'll be there. We just gotta get you in the room, on the table, and all that stuff. I'll be here, babe. I didn't really research a C-section. I knew my mom had one. So like if she had one in Bulgaria back in the 80s, I knew that whatever they were gonna do here was gonna be safe and fine for me. Um, I just had to get over it mentally. Uh, what's up guys? So I am prepped in my scrubs and I'm waiting outside of the OR while they get Anana ready for surgery. Um, she tried her best. She put 20 hard hours in. Um, nothing. So now we have to do a C-section. Prepare everything goes smooth. Cool. Give you a chair there with some to the back. Hi, babies. Hi, ah, you cold? You're okay. You did it. Give me some. I can't reach. <laughs> All right. Strongest girl I know. That way. Holding her and being wheeled out of the OR, it felt so surreal because we were waiting for this moment for so long, and it was finally there, and we were finally parents. Look at her eyes. She has your eye shape, actually. They're so wide open. Oh my gosh, she has your sloth eyes. <laughs> I got it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look at her. She just like, was so tiny. Oh my gosh. She was 7'11", by the way, and like 21 inches tall, which is crazy. Can't wait for you to see your room, okay. Nova. You're gonna yeah, love it. So when her eyes are open like that, she looks Why like fake. She like, looks like she's yeah. fake. Oh, big yawn. Look at the big yawn. I finally got a little bit of sleep and then the nurses came in and were teaching us how to swaddle, which was completely new to both of us. So, so Matt is learning how to swaddle over there. Sure and they're telling me that I have to pee. Mm -hmm. It's the morning after so my surgery. Yeah, she just farted on me like a couple times. Yeah. Right? That's why Who's I'm near the now. baby? Huh? <laughs> I can't believe we created something so beautiful and like, I don't know, it's just, I don't even know how to explain it. It's an amazing feeling. Why do you want to tell your daughter? I want to tell you that you're beautiful and that no matter what, you can tell me anything, okay? <laughs> anything. Oh no, how I go. <laughs> yeah, I could, I could swaddle you if you want. I just learned how. No, thank you. I got a breastfeeder. Whoa. You're a full blown mama. Get on there. Yeah, go, go, go. Yes. It's crazy because she just like latched on right away. It's insane to think that babies just like know or have this innate instinct to just know how to latch on and eat. I, I find that fascinating. You're a pro, baby. It's because I got bare nipples. <laughs> She's got a good bowl of that. She can't miss it. Hi. Good morning. Oh, oh, good morning. Today's the day, guys. We get to go home. We get to take her to her nursery. And I get to go to sleep too. Oh my gosh! Yes, I get to sleep in our own bed and actually sleep. Welcome home, yeah. Nova. Oh, <laughs> oh, where'd you guys get all this stuff 
Oh my gosh, my mom and my dad and Matt's mom had the house decorated. It was adorable. I actually still have the Welcome Nova um, balloons up. Oh, guys, this is so cute. No, This is your home now. <laughs> Welcome home, baby Nova. We were so excited to show her a little house tour of where she was going to live. The grandparents did a great job. <laughs> oh, look. <laughs> Look at her face. That's your pink giraffe. Look at your pink giraffe, baby this is Nova. Your baby shower. And this is your baby room. This is your room, Nova. Welcome to your room. Oh my gosh. Okay. Look. Look, we're waiting for you. <clears throat> Look at all your toys. That's you right there. It's your first pictures. <laughs> okay, all right, buddy. let's just get to the point here. <laughs> Let me help you out. Thank you, babies. Uh. Whoa! Hey! hey. Opa. Opa. Did you shake it? No. Obviously, after nine months of this awesome journey, we were gonna pop some champagne to celebrate. It was such a long but great journey and definitely learned that I can endure more pain than I think. I've learned about patience and I just have someone else that I have to put first now. Yep, my new life has definitely just begun. So stay tuned and join us for the ride. Woo! <laughs>